Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for August 1st, 2019. Today we're looking at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. What I really want to look at is the price zone, the area that we're at right now as a significant support within the downtrend. It's not too hard to see here. On this current pair, we have been in a downtrend for quite a long time. You look at the black trend line, you look at the moving averages. If I zoom out one more time, you can see uh, even a much longer downtrend coming all the way back up here from uh, beginning of 2018, end of 2017 at the top of the chart at or near the 0.81 level all the way at the top and now here we are into the 0.68 level so quite a significant downtrend here for the Australian USD. Uh, let's take a look at that significant area that we're at right now. Not too hard to see. We're matching with uh, a low that we saw back in June. Uh, right here, 68.40, 68.30 is the orange shaded area at the bottom of the chart. Significant support and bounce where it turned and went back higher. Uh, we have been falling in the most recent couple of weeks uh, significantly from the 7,080 or so level back now down here into the 68.30 level. So significant support here. Last time we were here, it bounced and went back higher. I actually want to look even further back. If I begin to zoom out a little bit and look further back uh, in this kind of viewpoint, you look back far left-hand side of the chart, the black circle back here, back into 2015-16, actually matching down into there to beginning of 2016, it bounced and that began the long-term uptrend uh, that went all the way up to those same exact highs that we we're talking about. So significant bounce point back in the beginning of 2016 as well. So you can see that orange shaded area. Well, it's kind of hard to see the orange zone, but you can see that area down here, second from the bottom, where it has been significant support in the past. And so here we are again in that same area. So the first things first, you know, when we talk about trading decisions uh, that we have to make as individual traders, should we buy it? Should we sell it? You know, those are the tr two typical trading decisions that we think we have to make. Should we buy or should we sell or should we stay out? I guess that's the third decision that you would make. Uh, the first things first is I think this is a difficult place to sell and go short. Last time we were here, black circle, turn around and went back up. Back in 2016, 17, when it hit there the last time, it bounced and went back up. So the last couple of times we've touched this area, it actually found support and reversal and went back up. So I think it's a difficult place to begin selling this. Of course, obviously, it would have been much better to sell at a much higher price up there towards the 7,000 or 8,000 level would have been a much better opportunity to sell this lower risk and higher reward. So it's a difficult place to sell. It doesn't mean you can't. It just means I think the timing needs to be right. And probably the only real good reason to sell this is that it finally breaks that 6830 level and goes lower from there. So I'm not really thinking about selling today. So I'm not thinking about selling maybe it becomes an opportunity for a buy. Uh, we watch for clues to support and reversal. You know, we talk about these in the live trade room all the time. Support and reversal, infusions of buy orders, a hammer candlestick, a bullish engulfing candle, a double bottom. Hmm, that's interesting. If you think about this as a double bottom, let's even take it to the weekly time frame. Uh, you're looking at this support here and a support matching here. So if that becomes a double bottom, 68, 30, 40, we see the break of the short black trend line, then maybe that becomes a support and reversal point as well. Uh, so it's an interesting area. I just don't think that today, back to the daily, becomes the best opportunity to go short. The best opportunity to go short would be a rally to resistance, probably at best right now, the, the blue shaded area, 68, 65, 68, 80. That would be your best opportunity to go short because then your stop loss, your risk is smaller. You just don't want it to break above the blue zone at that point. So just think about today, if you were to go short right now, where is your risk? What is your stop loss if you were to go short now? You could go above today's high, sure. Uh, above the, the resistant zone, the blue zone, I think would be better. So if your stop loss is up here at this little red line, it's much better to wait for it to go back up before you sell it. Or, like I said, it gets finally gets underneath that orange zone. And we'll talk about breakout strategy later in the trade room underneath that orange zone. 
But for that timing, no short. Maybe a long if we start to see evidence of reversal. Uh, that might be something that gives us some confidence in that. We're sitting on top of this orange zone, 68.40, 68.30 right now. Uh, at least right now, I guess if you're just simply going to go on risk versus reward, I think, of course, your risk is much smaller for a buy because your stop loss is right now currently underneath the orange zone if you were going to go long and buy this currency pair because at least at this point, you just don't want it to get underneath there if you buy it. Uh, so limited risk on a buy. I don't think we have sufficient evidence of reversal yet, but something to watch for there from this historical significant low here at the uh, 68.30.40 level for the Australian dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.